Grandbuster is back. About time to. Now, for those of you who aren't aware of what my Grandbuster series is, it started a while back. I haven't done it for a while, but it's where I use the samples I get from my monthly Dram Team subscription and I taste them and let you know then, based on that sample alone, whether I recommend you should buy, try or deny that sample. So it's back and let's get right on with it. What about you? I'm Big Al and this is Whiskey Straight and if you want to join me in my whiskey journey, or my spiritual odyssey as I call it, please hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up for a like and while you're at it, ring the bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos. So as you know from the intro, it's Dram Buster time again and I'm starting the series up again and I'm using the latest sample box I got from my Dram Team subscription. And it's a special one featuring women in whiskey. And it was a charity box edition to celebrate International Women's Day. And I know at the time there was a live virtual tasting featuring the women and the distilleries in that box. So today, as you can see, we're starting off with the Tam Navolen double cask. And the uh, woman in particular we're focusing on for that is Laura McDonald and she is the Communications and Media Relations Manager for White and McKay. So I'll pop a little bit up onto the screen there uh, about Tam Navolen so you can read it for yourselves and there'll also be a link in the description down below so that you'll know a wee bit about the distillery and the whiskey here itself. Now before I start I have had a sample of this before and uh, I'll put a link as well to that so you can see how perhaps things have changed from a first sample of this until now or maybe they haven't, I don't know but I know initially I was a wee bit underwhelmed with it, it was okay but it didn't really hit the spot for me so let's get into it here it says uh, what to expect on the nose here is rich warm aromas of apple, toffee and honey with sweet marzipan and subtle tangy marmalade notes. That sounds pretty good. So let's see if that's what we get. There's definite honey there, that's for sure. Very sweet, sherry. I'm getting some of the dried sort of fruit notes that you would get with sherry as well. Perhaps a bit of fig. But there really is quite a, a decent sherry head of this, and that is what I like. But definitely sherry, honey, dried fruits, some vanilla too. Perhaps a hint of apple, but it's maybe the power of suggestion, haven't looked at the notes there, but there does seem to be a wee bit of green apple there too. But all in all, a quite nice nose. So we'll go on to the palate. It says here, fresh, mellow, with pear, creamy peaches, pineapple and a hint of demerara sugar. Now, those are all things that float my boat. So here's hoping that a further developed palate will lead me to like this a wee bit more than it did the last time. Slauncher. A wee bit of earthiness. In fact, you would almost think on the first ship there was a hint of peat there, which is a wee bit strange, but here comes the Demerara sugar. But then again, you can't really judge something on the first ship. You have to let your palate get used to it. We'll go in again. Now it's a wee bit more of what you get here in the car and it is fresh. There is a wee bit of a like a gingery spicy pineapple 
tingle there as well, which is rather pleasant. The mouthfeel is creamy, marshmallow creamy, like the inside of a marshmallow. Pineapple zing with some ginger and again a bit of demerara sugar definitely does come into play to give it an overall nice flavour. Now on the finish here it says it's rich, smooth and refreshing, a signature Speyside malt. Yes, it's definitely rich, it's definitely smooth. It could be described as refreshing, uh, but with that sort of ginger, pineapple, spicy thing going on, some people might not think that, but again, you can put a wee bit of ginger into a drink, it does give it a wee bit of a G up and it can be refreshing, so I can see where they're coming from. Now, what probably takes over here is the Demerara sugar is a tad on the dark side, it's a tad bitter as it goes across the palate as it transitions from the front to the mid to the rear. And that for some people could be off-putting. Now, this would uh, retail it around, I think, the mid-30 quid range. And at 40% ABV. Would I buy a bottle or would I recommend you try it or deny it? Well, it's definitely not a deny. I do think I like it better than I did when I tried it the last time. And I would like to get a bottle so I could proper appreciate it and do a proper review once it opens up. So I would still say try rather than buy but if you see it an offer and it quite frequently is an offer for around the 22, 23 quid mark it would be a buy but only if it's an offer. So overall that's a try and next week We'll move on to another uh, dram celebrating women and whiskey and we'll see how we get on there. So thanks for watching folks, thanks for tuning in. A special thank you to my patrons. If you would like to join them, the links are all in down below. It's one of the next time folks. Look after yourselves, look after each other, stay safe and keep on drinking your whiskey the way you like it. Sláinte. Thanks for watching folks, I really do appreciate it. Please check out these other reviews and if you'd like to support the channel, the best way is by subscribing, liking and commenting. And don't forget to ring that bell for all video notifications so you don't miss out on any future content. Cheers.